On April 7, 1998, while driving on the roads of Weymouth in southern England, Rod Dickinson noticed something odd in the middle of his windshield. At first, he just kept driving, but after around a minute, he realized that the object wasn't a plane or a helicopter and started recording right away. Taking a look at his video, a metallic saucer-shaped object can be seen hovering close to a radio communication tower. According to Rod, the unidentified entity was about 500 feet high, and the whole encounter lasted around 12 minutes. A few moments later in the video, the unidentified object can be seen flying right above the witness, confirming that it was not a plane, given its circular shape. As clear recordings of UFOs in broad daylight such as this one are usually fake, the original footage was taken to California to be analyzed by Bill George, a renowned visual effects supervisor from Lucasfilms. Even though Bill could not confirm that the object was a real UFO, he was sure that the video was authentic, given some details that would be very hard to edit manually. Despite the fact that the footage was proven to be real, no definitive explanation about this object has ever been given, remaining unexplained to this day. Moving back to February 12, 2010, an oddly shaped UFO was witnessed hovering in the skies of Mexico City. Even though the video is not very clear, a shape-shifting object with small lights beneath it can be seen. Over the course of the video, the unidentified entity seems to be constantly changing its shape and turning its lights on and off. When this video got shared online, the UFO community quickly pointed out its resemblance to the well-known jellyfish UFO, which was recorded in Iraq through a military thermal camera back in 2017. Taking a look at both videos side by side, they do seem to be very similar. However, some safe theories to explain this object were also raised. For example, it could be just a bunch of balloons tied together, and the light beneath it is probably the reflection of the sun. Unfortunately, apart from the fact that this video was recorded in 2010 in Mexico, no relevant information about this video was provided. With this lack of context, a definitive answer as to whether that unidentified object was just a few balloons or a shape-shifting entity is a mystery that remains to this day. Ash Fork, Arizona, March 23, 2024. It was a calm night like any other for the Redditor 1Rock8528, but things quickly changed when his neighbor started yelling about a strange light in the skies. One Rock quickly ran back inside his house, grabbed his phone, and started recording. Taking a look at his video, a very bright object can be seen slowly moving and eventually making abrupt turns. Despite the fact that the video is not very clear, the original poster of the video claims that the object had three lights that stayed on the entire time, and a few turned on just as the UFO moved, forming a V-shape. When analyzing this footage, the UFO community was divided in regards to the nature of this object. While some were surprised that they had never seen something like this before, others were sure that it was just a LED kite. Even after a lot of online debate, a definitive explanation for this event could not be defined. Also, since this video was posted, no further details or follow-up were provided by the original poster. In early March 2024, a skydiver was recording one of his colleagues from the ground when he noticed a white speck floating and shaking in an orbital manner. According to the author of the video, even though he had only one piece of footage, this was actually the second object that he had seen that day. At first, the skydiver was wondering if the orbital movement around the unidentified object was just an issue with the stabilization of his Galaxy phone, but a few hours after this video was posted online, he confirmed that he contacted the skydiver that was in the air when this incident took place, and he assured that he not only saw the object, but also the weird orbiting movement and described it as some kind of string. Adding more intrigue to this case, a few Reddit users recalled that objects with a similar trembling movement had already been witnessed before. I took a video of a UFO that had the same effect near Catalina Island. I believe it's a byproduct of their propulsion and something to do with radiation. Also, a very similar movement pattern was reported by a former Navy pilot, 
David Fravor, who claimed that he had seen an object that was moving very abruptly, like a ping-pong ball. A clear recording of the unidentified object, a report from a skydiver, a few other witnesses from different areas, and a report of a similar encounter by a former Navy pilot add an extra layer of credibility to this case. Could all these witnesses have seen the same object? What's your opinion about this one? But now, if you made it this far into the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to this channel. You can also support us by becoming a member by clicking on the join button below, it will help immensely. I also want to take a moment to thank all of the members of the channel. A big thanks to Paul Gardner II, Carrie James Harris, Christine Smith, and D. Smitty for helping to support the channel. It means so much to me. With that being said, let's jump back to where we stopped. March 4th, 2024. At around 7.30 p.m., a laser-looking light was sighted in the skies of Florida. This unidentified phenomenon was flashing and constantly maneuvering left to right during the entirety of the seven minutes of the original video. What makes this footage intriguing is definitely that the laser does not come from the ground, but it starts and ends in the sky, so the theory that it was someone with a laser pointer can be totally ruled out. A few guesses in an attempt to explain this incident were raised by the UFO community, such as satellites, helicopters, and drones, but given its weird and unique nature, none of these could be 100% confirmed, causing this mystery to remain unexplained to this day. The next video was recorded by a pilot from the cockpit of a plane. Despite the fact that the quality is not that clear since it was very dark at that moment, the context around it makes up for it. The author of the video noticed a few lights in the sky that were seemingly chasing each other and started recording as he was explaining the incident. However, he was not the only one that was witnessing this phenomenon. As the pilot stated in the video, the radio communication between planes was very busy at that moment, as other pilots were discussing and trying to understand what they were seeing. Also, later on in the video, it can be heard in the air-to-air -air communication that another pilot witnessed the object doing a zigzag movement. Given how high these lights were in the skies, the most reasonable explanation for this incident is that it was probably satellites, but this can be ruled out for a few reasons. For example, satellites only reflect the sun once, and it's usually as it moves over the horizon. On the other hand, these lights repeatedly get bright and then dim, not even mentioning the erratic movement that doesn't match the one from satellites. On top of that, there is also an interesting comment on this video from a Redditor that claims that he saw something similar back in 2007. I was flying on a corporate jet flight from Bermuda to Morristown, New Jersey in 2007, and we all saw something very similar, although there were at least 10 of these things. The pilots, both employees of our company, said that they see this all the time and have seen disc-shaped craft during the day. They're rarely reported to the FAA. It's also worth mentioning that a few similar sightings from pilots were already featured in previous episodes of the series, and as of right now, no concrete answers have been given to any of these encounters. And there you have it. A set of mysterious UFO videos from around the internet. Each sighting brings its own set of questions, leaving us to wonder about the mysteries that linger in our skies. What are your thoughts on these encounters? Share your insights in the comments below. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies and stay vigilant.